What documents do I need to open a savings account? You'll need a valid ID and proof of address. What documents do I need to open a savings account? You'll need a valid ID and proof of address. Can I withdraw money from any ATM? Yes, but there might be transaction fees. Can I withdraw money from any ATM? Yes, but there might be transaction fees. How often do I receive bank statements? Statements are sent monthly via email. How often do I receive bank statements? Statements are sent monthly via email. Is online banking secure? Yes, we use advanced encryption technology. Is online banking secure? Yes, we use advanced encryption technology. What's the interest rate on this loan? It's currently 3.5% fixed for two years. What's the interest rate on this loan? It's currently 3.5% fixed for two years. Can I make international transfers online? Yes, but ensure you have the recipient's details. Can I make international transfers online? Yes, but ensure you have the recipient's details. How can I reset my online banking password? You can reset it through the Forgot Password option. How can I reset my online banking password? You can reset it through the Forgot Password option. Are there any fees for closing my account? There may be if it's closed within six months. Are there any fees for closing my account? There may be if it's closed within six months. What's the overdraft limit on my account? Your overdraft limit is currently $500. What's the overdraft limit on my account? Your overdraft limit is currently $500. Can I change the PIN for my debit card? Yes, you can change it at any ATM for security. Can I change the PIN for my debit card? Yes, you can change it at any ATM for security. When is the deadline for credit card payments? The due date is the 15th of each month. When is the deadline for credit card payments? The due date is the 15th of each month. How do I dispute a transaction on my statement? Contact our customer service to initiate a dispute. How do I dispute a transaction on my statement? Contact our customer service to initiate a dispute. What's the process for applying for a mortgage? You need to fill out an application and provide financial documents. What's the process for applying for a mortgage? You need to fill out an application and provide financial documents. Are there penalties for early loan repayment? No, you can repay your loan early without penalties. Are there penalties for early loan repayment? No. You can repay your loan early without penalties. Can I set up automatic bill payments? Yes, you can schedule recurring payments online. Can I set up automatic bill payments? Yes, you can schedule recurring payments online. How do I update my contact information? You can update it online or visit a branch in person. How do I update my contact information? You can update it online or visit a branch in person. What's the current exchange rate for USD to EUR? The current rate is 1 USD to 0 0.85 EUR. What's the current exchange rate for USD to EUR? The current rate is 1 USD to 0 0.85 EUR. Can I open a joint account with someone else? Yes, both account holders need to provide identification. Can I open a joint account with someone else? Yes, both account holders need to provide identification. What's the daily withdrawal limit for ATMs? The daily limit is $300 for standard accounts. What's the daily withdrawal limit for ATMs? The daily limit is $300 for standard accounts. How can I check my account balance? You can check it online or at an ATM. 
How can I check my account balance? You can check it online or at an ATM. Is there a fee for using online banking? No, online banking is free for all customers. Is there a fee for using online banking? No, online banking is free for all customers. Can I deposit cash at any ATM? No, cash deposits are accepted only at branch ATMs. Can I deposit cash at any ATM? No, cash deposits are accepted only at branch ATMs. What's the grace period for loan payments? There's a 10-day grace period after the due date. What's the grace period for loan payments? There's a 10-day grace period after the due date. How do I report a lost or stolen credit card? Contact our 24-7 helpline to report it immediately. How do I report a lost or stolen credit card? Contact our 24-7 helpline to report it immediately. Can I change the due date for my loan payments? In certain cases, yes. Contact customer service for assistance. Can I change the due date for my loan payments? In certain cases, yes. Contact customer service for assistance. Do you offer student loans with low interest rates? Yes, we have special student loan programs. Do you offer student loans with low interest rates? Yes, we have special student loan programs. What's the minimum balance for a savings account? The minimum balance requirement is $100. What's the minimum balance for a savings account? The minimum balance requirement is $100. How do I sign up for paperless statements? You can enroll in paperless statements through your online account. How do I sign up for paperless statements? You can enroll in paperless statements through your online account. Can I link my savings account to my checking account? Yes, you can link them for easy fund transfers. Can I link my savings account to my checking account? Yes, you can link them for easy fund transfers. What should I do if my credit card is declined? Verify if you've reached your credit limit or contact customer service. What should I do if my credit card is declined? Verify if you've reached your credit limit or contact customer service. Is there a fee for using ATMs abroad? Yes, there's a fee for international ATM withdrawals. Is there a fee for using ATMs abroad? Yes, there's a fee for international ATM withdrawals. How can I apply for a credit card online? You can fill out a credit card application on our website. How can I apply for a credit card online? You can fill out a credit card application on our website. What's the difference between a debit and credit card? A debit card deducts funds directly from your account, while a credit card allows you to borrow money up to a certain limit. What's the difference between a debit and credit card? A debit card deducts funds directly from your account, while a credit card allows you to borrow money up to a certain limit. Can I transfer money between my own accounts online? Yes, you can easily transfer funds within your online banking platform. Can I transfer money between my own accounts online? Yes, you can easily transfer funds within your online banking platform. How long does it take for a check to clear? Typically, it takes one, three business days for a check to clear. How long does it take for a check to clear? Typically, it takes one, three business days for a check to clear. Can I open a business account online? Business account applications are usually processed in person at a branch. Can I open a business account online? Business account applications are usually processed in person at a branch. What's the process for getting a replacement debit card? Report your lost card, and a replacement will be sent to your address. What's the process for getting a replacement debit card? Report your lost card, 
and a replacement will be sent to your address. Is there a limit on the number of transactions I can make each month? Most accounts have a certain number of free transactions per month. Exceeding that may incur fees. Is there a limit on the number of transactions I can make each month? Most accounts have a certain number of free transactions per month. Exceeding that may incur fees. How do I set up direct deposit for my salary? Provide your employer with your account details for direct deposit setup. How do I set up direct deposit for my salary? Provide your employer with your account details for direct deposit setup. Can I close my account online? Account closure requests are usually processed in person at a branch. Can I close my account online? Account closure requests are usually processed in person at a branch. How can I protect my account from fraud? Regularly monitor your transactions and report any suspicious activity immediately. How can I protect my account from fraud? Regularly monitor your transactions and report any suspicious activity immediately. What's the interest rate for a personal loan? Personal loan interest rates vary. It depends on your credit score and financial history. What's the interest rate for a personal loan? Personal loan interest rates vary. It depends on your credit score and financial history. Can I change my loan repayment schedule? In certain cases, yes. Contact customer service to discuss options. Can I change my loan repayment schedule? In certain cases, yes. Contact customer service to discuss options. How do I apply for a credit limit increase? You can request a credit limit increase through your online banking platform. How do I apply for a credit limit increase? You can request a credit limit increase through your online banking platform. Can I pay my credit card bill in installments? While you can pay the minimum, it's advisable to clear the full balance to avoid interest charges. Can I pay my credit card bill in installments? While you can pay the minimum, it's advisable to clear the full balance to avoid interest charges. What should I do if I forget my online banking username? Use the Forgot Username option on the Login page or contact customer service. What should I do if I forget my online banking username? Use the Forgot Username option on the Login page or contact customer service. Are there any discounts for using online bill pay? Some accounts offer discounts or rewards for using online bill payment services. Are there any discounts for using online bill pay? Some accounts offer discounts or rewards for using online bill payment services. Can I transfer money to someone else's account online? Yes, you can transfer funds to another account within the same bank or to another bank. Can I transfer money to someone else's account online? Yes, you can transfer funds to another account within the same bank or to another bank. How do I set up account alerts for suspicious activity? You can set up alerts through your online banking settings for added security. How do I set up account alerts for suspicious activity? You can set up alerts through your online banking settings for added security. Can I change the address associated with my account online? Yes, you can update your address through your online banking profile settings. Can I change the address associated with my account online? Yes, you can update your address through your online banking profile settings.